Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This isn't really in the garage, but it's still car related. Today we're gonna go on wish.com and buy some stuff we don't need. That's apparently crap. And then whenever I get it, if I get it. Uh, I'll see how good uh, it actually is to the OEM stuff. I made a little list of things I want and I've already been shopping a little bit. Not shopping, but browsing a little bit. So at least I have an idea of what I want to get. So yeah, let's try to spend like $3. It's not gonna be $3. Um, so we'll just go to wish.com. All right, what do I want? I got this video idea from uh, Robbie Ferreira, 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 I don't know, with his EG Civic build. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting it was just a wish only build because I've seen like eBay only builds. And so he pretty much introduced me to the site and I was like, holy crap, this is all really cheap. So, what could go wrong, right? Everything. So, let's just search Mustang and see what comes up. All right, badges. I want badges. I want a pony, yep. All right, we're just gonna start over because I don't know what I want. So, let's just try to find some emblems first. Um, hopefully we can get a two pack so it's a little bit cheaper. Two pieces. Uh, wow, it even says 2011 to 2014, look how exact they are. It doesn't look like they have the little plastic prongs to go in the fender to line it up, so that'll be fun to do. What have people said? Looks great, easy install. The right size, great, nice quality, fast service. We'll buy it. Oh, we could get a uh, anti-slip mat for your phone for the dash, which... This is waterproof too, you can put it outside. 20 by 13 centimeters. A dollar? Let's let's buy it. We'll try this. Oh, and I'm getting everything in silver. Well let me buy black just to make everything. But it's like a flat black. I don't really care. It's gonna be painted anyway. Uh, you wanna know some right here? Yeah. Look, I'm filming. This is my friend. Wait, what? <laughs> That's a joke, because it's a camera. <laughs> Let's try 2011. Let's just try my ear. See what see what, see what, what comes up. We got some over axle pipes. Looks like the Borla. It is the Borla. Look at that. But $418. You can get it cheaper on, like, American Muscle or somewhere. CJ Pony Parts, LMR, for, like, three... 50. So that's weird that it's more on here. Let's try what uh, Robbie did with his yellow tint, except I'm not going to do my headlights, I'm going to do other things with it. But let's try this yellow tint, 60 by 30 centimeters, and it's a dollar. Let's buy it. And then what else do we want? Ceramic coating. Um, this stuff I've been wanting to try, but don't want to spend like $70 even though it's cheap. So let's try the $5 one. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the $5 one. Because what's $3? It's three extra mats that are, don't slip. Alright, let's see how much this costs. $95. Okay. Oh yeah, we, let's see, let's remove the pony. Yes, I want to remove it. Um, let's see, a dollar, seven dollars, ten dollars for ninety-five cents for ten. How big is this? Sixty centimeters. Centimeters to inches. All right, let's see. Sixty centimeters is twenty-three inches, so two feet by a foot. I'm semi. I stay automatic. Money add and multiply. I call it ninety-five cents. Let's do it. All right. So wish looks like it's. $32, so let's do it. And y'all don't need to see all this. All right, and I'll update you when uh, it gets here, which at uh, the end of the month. So I'll look different. 20 days. Yeah, see y'all in three weeks. It's the 25th. So, yeah, just about three weeks later. I actually got all my stuff, like, last week, but 
I didn't have time. So here we are. What are you gonna do about it? So originally I was gonna buy like an air horn, pony on the front, and didn't buy the air horn because there's cheaper ones on Amazon. Wasn't too confident in it. These things I'm a little more confident in. And the horse one supplier so they couldn't supply it. I guess they're not the supplier. They're a letdown. But it's okay. We still got four items. Got the five of emblem. I don't know. I was never a fan of just black emblems because then you can't see them. Well, what's the point of the emblems if they're going to be black and you can't see them on a black car? Because they're black on a black car. Got my tent. You know, it's a little bent, creased. Heat gun will take care of that. We got my uh, anti-slip pad. I don't know what brand it's for. Might be Chevy, Ferrari, it's probably Ferrari. What I was really excited for was the uh, ceramic coat. Mr. Fix ceramic coat, that's the good stuff. 9H, which is like the hardest ceramic coat available. I haven't really opened any of this stuff except for the M1 just to see if it's the same size. So let's get to it. Oh, if you're wondering what this is, uh, if you wanna see a video on this, uh, just subscribe. I think this one's coming out after this one. Well, all right, so I found this razor blade. Ah, uh, this actually looks like decent. So we got a applicator pad, soft and hard. The ceramic coat, which looks like water. And this is actually glass, so shocking that it came in glass because uh, it's the most expensive part of a product. If it's in. All right, does it have instructions? Um, kinda. Wash, remove stains. Terrible instructions, but you know, YouTube helps. And then we have a uh, applicator pad. We really don't need a lot, so we can make this work. I'm just gonna do the fall guys. This one feels kind of sticky, which is good. Now, I don't know if the mat isn't supposed to slip, or the things on the mat isn't supposed to slip, but I'm assuming both. Yeah, let's install this right now. All right, so uh, with this, we're just gonna lay it right there. Now it's installed. All right, and uh, here are the emblems. I already opened one, but this one had like spots on it. I might paint these or I might paint those. One of the two, I'm probably painting those. Cause these don't have the little tabs. All right, so this one, I'm a little worried about uh, just staying on, being straight. To get it off, you need to fit it more. I'm also gonna do a little heat gun. Got it, and this uh, stuff back. And if you wanna know what good plastic dip does, it's that this was on for over a year. You just gotta work it, but it comes off in one piece. So, I could just stick it on, and that's what it looks like, ta-da! I don't like it at all. Get this a little tacky. And you want to dent your fender when you do this. Get it! I'll do that one off camera. I also have no idea if it's going to stay on overnight. Alright, so ceramic coat, I was thinking, do some of the roof. I'll do the roof, because I hate the roof. I never wax this. And it has a lot of water spots. And I don't know. I don't know how good this is. So I'll just do like a corner of it and see how it is in the rain. Go from there. And if it looks good, then I'll do the whole car. I guess I'll do a little before. This is just the uh, uh, detail spray. Clay barn in now. Because I don't want water spots if it does work. That's what uh, water looks like on there. So it doesn't run. It's not a smooth surface. So, all right. And so here's like a this clay barn it, but there's a lot of scratches. But over here, you can see like all the water marks, kind of. So that's just what I got rid of, but I mean there's still some, because this car sucks, but. All right, so I watched a do with Dan episode, so I'm an expert now. But if you bought this product, you get a sponge, it's a soft, get a spongy side and like a hard foam side. You take the towel, just wrap it around the sponge. This is what you put the these two, and then you wipe it horizontally and vertically, and you buff it off with, but I'm gonna use a microfiber. Oh. He also said to use alcohol. All right, so I got my alcohol. Doesn't really matter what alcohol, just make sure it is alcohol or we'll rubbing alcohol. Apply it to the cloth and rub it on. Couple drops on the, that's way too much, but we'll go with it. So first we're gonna go in this direction. And then we're gonna go in this direction. And then that should be it. And then let it dry for a minute or two. And then you just rub it off. The 
This stuff kind of smells like alcohol, too. All right, let's uh, buff it up. And uh, just like that, you're done. So here's where I uh, ceramic coat it, and then you can see, like right here. I mean, it looks shinier, feels smoother, but it doesn't really feel like wax. Maybe I did it wrong, but we'll wait a couple days and see. We're gonna do the uh, the tent now, and you might be saying, "Hey, you ain't got no fog lights." I do. They're very small. I'm not gonna bother to take the lights out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it in there. We're gonna treat this the same. We're just gonna rub it down with uh, rubbing alcohol, hence the name. We're just gonna apply the film and trim the excess. This is a dollar on Wish. So it's actually fairly large. You could do, you probably do four headlights with this, depending on headlight size, like four of my headlights. This would be plenty for a hole for one car. All right, there's our piece. You'll want a heat gun or a hair dryer. Do you really want like a, a vinyl squeegee or, you know, a sticker applicator squeegee? You want some type of squeegee, so uh, we'll, we'll do a, an expired QT card. And I know this is bigger than it, but uh, we're just gonna, uh, maybe we should trim it now. All right, then you wanna peel off the back. So I'm gonna start in the middle, and then I'm gonna get a light and just work my way around. Uh, that don't look that good, but we're gonna trim it, and uh, hopefully that'll make the difference. All right, and that's trimmed. All right, that looks like crap. All right, so this is my first time wrapping anything, so take it easy, but uh, so you can see there's like the lines right there because it's not flat, and I don't know how to fix that unless you like cut those lines, which I might do on the other one. But with the light off, hey, it doesn't look half bad. Here's the other side. You know, it went all, it went all right. Uh, it's still very, very uh, wrinkly, but this is hard. And uh, I've never done this before, but if it were flat, I think this would be fine. Let's turn the fog lights on. They are indeed yellow. Were. It looks yellow. But we could also throw another layer on, but. Mm, it just looks like a really yellow bulb. Let's throw another layer on, because I don't know what percentage this is. All right, so this is two layers, and a lot more yellow. I mean, the camera's gonna suck, but trust me, it's yellow. It's yellow. It actually looks like this now. But the second layer doesn't really want to stick to the first layer. Right there doesn't want to stick. It's very wrinkly, but you can't really tell when it's projected, only looking at it. I just made a shocking discovery. I was just rubbing this, trying to make it flat. Uh, this clear film on the top peeled off, which means that there is protection. Hello? Which means there is protection. Goodbye. Um, at the back in the top, which would explain why it feels not like I thought it would, but without it, it feels like actual real wrap. I guess if it falls off, I know why, but uh, we'll leave it for now, because I'm tired. I will test this bad boy tomorrow. And right now we'll just spray this because we've let it dry now. Doesn't feel that much different than wax. So here's, you know, here's the non-coated. There's the coated, so. Not too shabby. That's, that's what it's supposed to do versus that, which means I might do the whole car now. Not today, but some point, some point. Yeah, cool. All right, it is the next day. Let's test this out. Let's do my phone. Usually, that would go flying, but it's on there pretty good, not gonna lie. Actually, I'll uh, put my wallet up there. All right, so let's see how this goes. Alright, so they both stayed on. They ask you how you are, you just have to say.
say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get Which isn't what I wanted, but the wallet is pretty uh, sticky because it's leather. I'll put my phone, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I just had to uh, go the speed limit through an intersection, and my phone was right here, and now it's over there. So, this thing actually works. Good job. That's the end of this video. So, if you want to see more like this, subscribe. If you don't, subscribe. I might change it. Uh, I don't know. But uh, see you on the next one.